I would say that, that technology uh, shapes us um, using or taking advantages, advantage of our laziness. I think uh, that is one of the secret drivers of uh, energy, of, sorry, of technology, because on behalf of that uh, comfort or laziness, we are willing to uh, change even our basis, what defines us are, as human, as uh, friends, or as a community. So, because we're lazy, because it's easy, because it's immediate, because I no longer have to go um, and talk to the girl, because I can just use uh, this app and, uh, you know, have immediate sex or just, you know, go to a, um, a porn site. It's immediate, it's, it's comfortable. And I think, uh, in, to some extent, technology, with a mind of, of, of its own, and this is a metaphor, is uh, taking advantage of that and uh, recreating us. So, uh, as I said, I'm very interested on in this matter. I think, uh, yes, this laziness is one of the drivers of uh, technology. Uh, traditionally, the efficiency uh, is uh, the other one. It can actually be understood in the same level because of the laziness will be efficiency in energy. Um, but what happens? with uh, emotional efficiency. What happens with what actually uh, makes us human and makes us society and makes us uh, vulnerable and makes us who we are and what we are right now? Uh, see, that's another oxymoron, the emotional efficiency of technology. And that's why I explore with both with the software, with what we're doing with the Husin, and with the hardware, what we are doing with, uh, with our public installations, we try to put technology at the service of emotions of subjectivity. Uh, and uh, right now we are trying to place a huge rainbow under a, a bridge uh, here in Bilbao uh, just to provoke that collective uh, illusion um, because we think that technology can also be at the service of uh, the most basic emotions. And it should be too. See, my point is, so uh, the organizations they have the challenge of uh, innovating and changing. They have the challenge of uh, attracting customers. They have the challenge of moving customers, of emoting customers. So um, I don't think you can move anyone if you are not move yourself. I don't think you can uh, um, come to a disruptive or a really original or a very creative uh, proposal if you're not motivated and you, you won't be motivated if those things are not aligned, deeply aligned with your values and with your visions and with your emotions. So I, I think that they might end up not having uh, an alternative, but to deal with the emotions. Um, and, and I love it.